Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar with 12 Bonk Show. A little bit early today because we're a little bit out of town. We're out in Raharney and we're here in this beautiful park. It's called Ashcroft Park. And a lot of work has been done here with a fellow from Mullingar. His name is Jason Babog. Jason Babo, come in here and have a little chat with us for a second, if you have the time. How you doing, Ray? Good man, Jason. Great to have you on board the 12 bongs. Can you give us a bong? Bong? Good man, good man. Is that man. good enough? That's a very good, that's a <laughs> well done bong. Tell us a little bit about the work you're after doing here and the work uh, that you're at at the moment. Uh, well, I've been doing a few playgrounds recently. Mm -hmm. um, uh, one out in Castle Pollard and yeah. then one here in Rahani. Uh, came out here last week and we spent about two or three days uh, painting this beautiful park for uh, Ashcroft in Rahani. Uh, uh, they wanted a kind of a GA themed. Yeah. So instead of snakes and ladders, we did um, pearls and nets. Ah, wow. And then uh, back over here, we did like a half size GA pitch as well for them. All the lines and everything. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, this type of work you're doing, the last time we chatted to each other, you were uh, doing paintings inside. Paintings, yeah, I know. Sounds some difference, isn't it? <laughs> so you have a lot of projects on the way. Like you've done uh, something in Castle Pollard. Uh, we did uh, another playground in Castle Pollard, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm working on a film at the moment with young people in in Grange. Excellent. We shot it. We we finished shooting two weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm in the editing process now. So. Brilliant. And what has this got to do with this uh, film? What's the basis of it? Uh, it's called Zombie Apocalypse. It's Zombie Apocalypse. Yeah. That's what we're living in. Yeah, that's what we're living in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the kid, uh, we, I did it with uh, young people from Grange, and we uh, we spent uh, about eight weeks shooting it. Excellent. Had great fun out of the lake, barbecues, any excuse to get out to the lake, out in the weather. And nice. you've other you've other products coming up as yeah, well in I've, the town of Mullingar. In, in the town, yeah. I've um, I've got a. Uh, Doing a mural out in Shandona. Wow. GA pitch. And yeah. then I and then Thai Towns have uh, asked me to do a piece at the harbour. Brilliant. On that big wall then going over the canal. Yeah, beside Jack Slater's garage, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be what sort of theme are you gonna put in there? Uh, they wanted something to do with the town. Mm -hmm. So I got some old pictures from Ruth. Ruth Illingworth, yeah. Yeah, Ruth Illingworth. And um, what I've done is I've created something uh, magical and beautiful incorporating the Westmead colours. Okay. And it's going to be like the a picture of the canal and the way it used to be used years ago, where they used to ferry up uh, all the food and alcohol and drinks, and used to use it like a road. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be it's going to be really nice. Hopefully, fingers crossed. That is a huge piece of a wall that you're going to I have know. to cover. Yeah. How are you going to land it out? You're just going to make a little piece here, a little piece there, and uh, hope it all fits together. I I I have a magic eye. I can I can have an A4 sheet of paper, and then it can just blow it up to. In your own mind. In my own mind, yeah. Legendary. That's yeah. it. That's Babog, Jason Babog, and uh, there you are. He is doing some fantastic work. And uh, check him out. And if you want him to do a job for you, maybe at the house, yeah. give him a call. Him uh, a call. How can get you on YouTube or uh, Facebook on or Facebook? Yeah. yeah. Jason Babog Turner. Or Turner's Arts. Turner's Arts, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. So we're going to have kind of a little chat now yeah, with our friends be. here. We have some, and as you can see, a few lads going to the bog here as well. Come in, ladies. They are uh, they're old trackers. Yeah. They're just going for a drive. They're not going to do any work at all. So, ladies, what's your name? Anne. Anne, and you're part of the uh, committee here. Yes, I am. And tell us a little bit of what's happened here and who um, organised all this. Well, um, back in December 2019, we um, developed a committee group called Ashcroft Village Coast yes. mm -hmm. Residence Group. And... Um, at first it was really hard because we were like, what do we do? Where do we go? You know, we didn't know nothing kind of thing. But uh, the council have been a huge support to us, mm -hmm. uh, the community development group as well. And um, without any of them, we wouldn't have this for the children to enjoy. Uh, it was funded by the Westmead County Council and um, community development. Um, Brilliant. <sighs> Sorry? Yeah. Brilliant. Well yeah. Done. Yeah. Is there many kids living here? Um, there's a handful. Yeah. There's a handful, not many all grown up now. and on again you know that way but we have um village close as well down That's the road same. and in between the community and maybe the local school and um, the junior and senior infants can come up and enjoy it and yeah. use this park when yeah. it comes into september as well because the weather usually gets better in september yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh tell us uh tess it is how's yeah, it going so too bad. you're keeping well this is where you're hanging out oh this is where i am now yeah <laughs>
<laughs> As I said, we met each other way back in the days of the beehive, and that's all gone now. There's even a road behind the back of it. But tell us, Tess, uh, what's going? You, you're involved in the, uh, the 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 committee here as well. Yeah, I'm down at Village Close. Okay, and in Village Close, have they got the same? No, setup it's as not as big an area. We've only ten houses down there. Excellent, excellent. So you keep them well. Oh yeah, grand. Not about them. Well. Brilliant. Well, there you are, folks, and that's the girls from this area here. We're in Raharney going live, and as I said, some fantastic work being done by the local and the council here in Mullingar. So thanks a million ladies. Thanks very much Thank, for you. Coming. Thank you. We're going to uh, do our little bit of our show here as well and uh, just get back to everyone. As I said, every day we have our 12 bongs. So we can actually have, uh, Mr. Bob Bogue, can you do four bongs for me, please? Of course can. Yes, four live bongs. Bong, 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 bong. And we need the girls from the committee as well. They're going to give us four bongs each. Four and <laughs> The best four now, just the best four, just the best four. Come in closer, come in closer. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Four bongs. Are you going to share out? No, you're getting four bongs a piece. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there you go. Do it in your own time, girls. Bong, 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 bong. Two more. Bong, bong, bong. <laughs> These girls have been practicing all day for this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but as I said, we're coming live here from Ash Grove Park here in Raharney. And uh, what a fantastic place it is and what a fantastic ladies that are here as well, doing fantastic work. Well, along with Jason uh, Babog Turner. That sort of goes back to when he was a child, I'd say. Of course, he's a little baby Babog. He's an Irish word, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. And oh, baby face, aha, thank you very much. So, our birthday shout outs coming in as well. We have Jake, who is 10 years of age, and uh, that's Celine Cole's son. And a happy birthday to you, um, uh, Jade, uh, uh, Jake. And as well as that, Moya Fraser had a birthday. This comes in from Mick, and he says, he loves you so. And we have Alan, who is uh, in uh, Clua Castle. Alan, I'm wishing you a happy birthday as well today. And Derek Carroll, who's looking in there from Mullingar, and that's Derek, who is in Oscars, and he's in the Outback. Uh, we have Linda, uh, uh, let me see, uh, Kinnahan. K-I-N-A-H-A-N, and she's a Mullingar, got that one right. Uh, it's a birthday to you as well, and Lorna Caff uh, Coffee, and she's a multi and originally from Donegal, I think. Happy birthday to you. And Kate Sharp, my cousin, a big, big shout out to you on your birthday. And we have Owen Ward, who is in Derry, and it was his birthday on Friday. So, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. And don't forget, folks, if you want to join us on board the bus, and say the bus is there. And if you want to join us on the bus, because it could be raining the next time we meet, and if you want to join us on that, you're very, very welcome indeed to uh, tell us your story or promote your business. Uh, continuing on, don't forget the farmers markets are very, very popular at the moment and there's a big farmers market in Balnacree on Saturday. Uh, that's just outside Old Castle, which Old Castle is that way, I think. And uh, there's another one in Clonmelon and uh, Clonmelon market is on on Sunday. So Balnacree is on Saturday and Clonmelon is on on Sunday. Gives another cough. And then carry it. Thank you. And then we have another one. We have our food shout out competition winner and that goes to day two, Pasta Bella. Yes, indeed. Big shout out to you guys and I hope you're all keeping well. They have a great takeaway business at the moment. And we have our Facebook page recommendation. And our Facebook recommendation is the Ken Smullen Food Appeal. And if you'd like to give some uh, food or dry food to Ken Smullen, who's doing a fantastic job, uh, a lot of kids in the Midlands are going hungry. You would not believe it, folks. And this is Ireland, and this is, we are a, a what would you say? First class, we're a top of the class. We are, as I say, first world country, and there's people hungry in our country. So, Ken Smullen is a man that's going around. We've done a little live uh, video and cooking out in um, Multi Farnham Cookery School a few weeks ago, and uh, we were chatting to Ken during the week. So, if you want to help in any way, uh, you can send money to. Uh, the Ken Smullen Food Appeal, which is, um, if you go to Multi Farnham Cooker School, we had something there. I don't know how they're still running, or if you want to give some dry food, you go to Deals in Mullingar, or if you want to go to uh, Nori Murphy's house and drop over some dry food there, you're very, very welcome indeed. So that's our Ken Smullen Facebook recommendation, and uh, he's always putting up stuff which is quite relevant, relevant, wrong word, but. Uh, 
it's quite important at the moment. So let me see, uh, shop local pick of the day is Mullingar Bike Hire. Yes, you can rent a bicycle and head the whole way down the canal. You can get it in the harbour and I think they're open every day of the week at the moment because the weather is up and we are in the middle of summer. Okay, uh, Lottos. The GAs are doing a lot of Lottos and their local GAs and the one in the Downs, uh, they have their local Lotto which is on a Monday, that's right, I nearly had it, and Multi Farnham is on a Sunday. Uh, we have no winners at the moment, I believe, but uh, keep an eye out for that. And you can go online to do the lotto as well. A uh, big congratulations to Kieran Fagan, who uh, is leaving the Gravel Arms and mo into uh, moving into a new position um, in, in not too far from Mullingar. But a big shout out to you, Kieran, and congratulations on your achievements so far. Heading for the big manager job. So hope you're keeping well. Don't forget, folks, very, very important indeed. indeed Mullingar Column Barracks.ie. So it's www.columnbarracks.ie. This week is going to be the end of the survey. Now we need everyone to get involved. It, well, it's not that we need, it's up to you guys. If you want to keep the Mullingar Barracks uh, open as it is and you know that it creates a sort of a, a culture more than, um, more than anything else. And a lot of people are in there at the moment creating a culture uh, that is indigenous here to Mullingar and there's so much that can be done with the Mullingar uh, Column Barracks. So if you, uh, would like to uh, show people and show the people on the page on www.columnbarracks.ie fill in the survey and just uh, find out what you want Mullingar Barracks to be. I don't mind what you want or what you'd like but it's, it's if I could say to you please give us help it's not that it's really for the community of Mullingar so it's up to the community of Mullingar to get involved in this and create something for yourselves um, that you look back in years to come and say, do you know what, we put that together or we're involved in that. And that's after creating a whole business in the, in the Midlands. Um, and a lot of big problem as well is a lot of people are, uh, apprenticeships have disappeared. So that's another whole area that can be regenerated in the barracks as well. And there's a lot of things going on. There's boxing going on. There's photo, photo. There's a man up there doing loads of photos. Uh, snap photography, I think it's called. Uh, I don't know what a video the other day anyway. And there's a lot of different people doing different things up there. So if you want to get involved with your business up there, uh, go to the Mullingar um, barracks and have a chat with Pat because he's on the gate and he'll let you in and he'll tell you all the information. So once again, thank you very much for looking in folks. We're at the Ash uh, Grove Park, Croft Park here in Raharney. And this is some of the fantastic work that has been done by the man they call Babog. That means he's baby face. Look at it, it's absolutely magnificent. The back is broken him and his knees are gone. So he's still looking for more. And there is the come out here myself. And then over on this side then is a small GA pitch. So once again, this is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar, but not exactly. We're in Raharney promoting what's good and great about Raharney. Have a fantastic day and all our friends who are looking in. Thanks for being with us, guys. Bye now.